Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, you guys are getting a thrift haul. So this is part two of Thrifting Thursday week two. And I was going to break this up or chunk it up into small little mini segments or little videos and I never did. I am just going to showcase it today so I can get it all priced and into my booth. So let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, I ended up finding a bunch of bags. I love adding these to my booth because they just go over really well. So typically I haven't seen this style. This is more of like a backpack style, but people love these. So I grabbed that and again, it's more of a backpack style. So I'm just gonna price it and get, get it in just right like way it is. Uh, this was really unique and I loved all the vibrant colors. Um, it is, it looks like a Demaco, I have no idea, but um, it's just really cool. And I thought it would be perfect for my booth, another purse. This one was like all vintage-y. Um, and actually look, it says vintage on it, retro design. Again, I liked the bright colors. I loved the whole look of it. And I'm going to get this priced and right in my booth. Anytime I find these wool throws, I'm grabbing them. I love them. Um, this one, I did pay a little bit more for it, if I remember correctly. I don't see a tag on here. Um, oh, here it is. So I paid $8.99. But I definitely can get, I think, like three times that from this um, because these go for a good penny. So this will definitely be going to my booth. I don't know now or fall. I'm debating. I think this really screams fall colors, but maybe I can uh, squeeze it in my booth now. But it might go into the fall bin and then just go in right there. Okay. I found this, it was regular $7.99 and I got it I think at half price. I loved it. It's actually for um, like a coffee table or um, a footstool. I'm gonna be using this for myself. I saw it and I just fell in love with it. I loved all the detail on it. I like the handles. I'm always looking for stuff to be able to put like our items in. Um, you know, just stuff and it kind of keeps it all in one spot. So that is for me. I loved it. I found two of these and they were $9.99 each. I looked them up online and they actually were going for, oh gosh, I cannot even, it was quite a bit. Now these are really intended for outside on your patio. So one side is open. Um, you can use them as a seat or um, you can use it to put a plant on, but they're all metal. I love the turquoise. I'm debating. I really, really want to keep these for myself um, because you guys know how much I love turquoise, but I think they're gonna end up in a booth. Uh, we'll see, we will see. And maybe I'll put them in a booth, in the booth for a couple months. If they don't sell, then they might end up on my patio. So I just liked the vibrancy and again, I got two of them and they're gonna be perfect for either a vignette or my patio. Anytime I'm out thrifting, I am always grabbing down comfort or down comforters, down comforters, down pillows. Um, I love them and these were only $5.99 each. I grabbed them. I am definitely going to be uh, recovering them. I mean, they're not horrid but I think I am going to recover them with something really fun. So if you guys remember, I got that really awesome fabric. I do want to create a spring vignette with that. So they might be recovered with that fabric. And I ended up getting two of them. I love it when I can find two, four multiples. Um, it's just nice, especially when they're the same size. Uh, when I find four, it's perfect for like a table setting. Um, otherwise, I always I have two chairs that I think these will be perfect on. I ended up finding these footstools, or actually, I'm sorry, not table stools, and um, they were $9.99 each. They spin. Uh, they have a really nice wood top, 
and I thought they'd be perfect for my studio. I always am looking for different, um, I actually took the bar stools out of my kitchen for in there. So these are perfect for in my um, studio for that. So I grabbed those. Um, I always try to thrift for myself too when I see things that I really need. And I thought those would be perfect. Talking about myself, uh, if you guys are on my lives, I always am looking for my paper towel. And I did have a paper towel holder for my outside studio, but really for my shipping and receiving area where I've been doing a lot of my filming, um, I did not have one for that. So here I have one now. I found a table um, or a paper towel holder and it was only $3.99, so it was perfect. I love finding uh, faux um, uh, fruit and this was perfect. I got a whole bag and it was only at $3.99. Anytime I'm out and about you guys, I'm always looking for baskets. This one is handmade USA. It has a signature on the bottom. It does say carnation baskets. So it reminds me of the Longenberger baskets. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll keep it for myself. I will definitely be getting it in my booth. I thought they were so fun. Um, they were $3.99 each and I loved how it was two-toned where it was that uh, navy blue and then the faux wood. I'm gonna leave those just as is and get those right in my booth. I always am looking for different white pottery. This is actually Threshold or yeah, Threshold and I was trying to see, it's from Target. It was $3.99. I'm sure it was a whole lot more at Target than $3.99. So I grabbed that. I'm gonna wash it up and just get it right in my booth with, um, I have a lot of white items to kind of offset some of the bright colors that I use in my booth. These were $1.99 and I know it's all Christmas, but they're all little tiny Christmas signs. And I thought, I'm gonna grab them. I think they'd be perfect for some type of upcycle or DIY um, for Christmas next year. These were $2.99 each. And I'm wondering, I think green was the color of the tag. So I think these were half price, if I remember correctly. There is no marking on the bottom. They just remind me of Ironstone. So I grabbed those. I will definitely get those in my booth. I just think that they, I love the scalloped edges. They're very, very cool. So they're perfect for a display or a vignette in my booth. I'm a huge fan of chicken wire and I like this one because it has a little bit of red. So it's gonna be perfect for like a 4th of July vignette. Uh, I did pay $2.99 for it and it'll be perfect to house something. Um, I definitely can get my monies back on this. I think it's super cute. Uh, I can slide it right into the holidays if it does not sell for like around the 4th of July or summer. Okay, I do not need another rolling pin, you guys. I should just be like, no, stop it, stop it. But I can't pass up a rolling pin. You guys know how much I love them. And these were all around the same price. Uh, $1.99. This one was probably $1.99 as well. Uh, $2.99. So very inexpensive. And I grabbed them and I don't know if I'll be putting them in. Sometimes it's nice to have them just as is and you can do with what you want with it. Um, otherwise, always adding hand, like just colorful handles does so much. Makes them look old and vintage. And then, you know, adding decoupage paper is always fun as well. So, um, I got four of them. I found these. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love them. And they were $3.99 each. They're brass. And so I am going to be doing a project upstairs. I'm going to take you guys along for this project. I'm trying to find real unique pieces um, to be put, to just add more character to my home. And I always have been tackling different areas of my house as I change things up. 
Um, and if you go up my stairs and the hallway upstairs has been slightly neglected. Um, so it is definitely going to get a transformation. And so tell me this, this obviously goes into something. Um, I'm not sure what, does anybody know where I can, I'm assuming like something on a wall. Um, I don't know. Where do you think I can find it? So my vision, you walk up my, um, uh, upstairs, you walk upstairs and at the very top of the stairs, there is this window. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be so fun to have these like on each side of the window? That was one thought. Um, maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can't. Um, but I just think it would look so just kind of fun. Um, even find something really fun to put in here. We'll see. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments where I can get the whatever device to put these in. Um, because I don't know, or maybe I could make something. I don't know, but they're super heavy and they're awesome. You guys know how much I love pottery. This is um, just a cobalt blue piece of pottery. There's no marking on the bottom. It was $3.99. I did get it at half price. I believe green was the color, um, but I thought it was so cool. And for two bucks, I couldn't pass it up. I love handmade baskets. This one is just gorgeous, so much detail and it was $5.99. They had just put it on the floor. Oh, it does look like there's a little bit of possible damage here, but maybe I can spread that out a hair to kind of hide that. But it is so pretty. I loved it. So just going in my booth right like that, just as is. I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love butterflies. I think this is so fun. I was trying to think of a way I could upcycle it, but I think it would just be really pretty too, as is in my booth possibly. So that's how I'm gonna start. And then if it doesn't sell, I'll pull it back out and we'll do something fun with it. Actually, I think I got this at the bins with my daughter um, and it was sitting in there. So I thought I would showcase it. Welcome to the home. And I'm going to just leave as is at this point. And then if it doesn't sell, then I'm going to enhance it a bit. Um, I might bring it back and I might be adding a little bit of more red. This looks a little bit orangish. So maybe you just add a little red to it and we'll test my painting skills. If that doesn't work, maybe I'll do a decoupage right over it. Another tray, and this is so fun as well. Um, I love the galvanized. I like the little bit of coloring. Uh, looks like it was regular 25. I got it for eight. Um, so I am just going to slide it in my booth and probably put glassware on it. I think it will look really great with uh, a bunch of glassware. Well, I saw this, or actually my mom and I both saw it and we're like, what is this? You know, <laughs> so I grabbed it. I just thought it would be kind of fun to have. It's like a hanger. Um, looks like I paid $3 for it. So I'm just going to probably put it in my booth for maybe like nine bucks. I don't know. It's just something inexpensive. It'll just be like a little added piece in a vignette. On a video, I did mention that I was grabbing different letters if I could find them. Um, this was perfect. Like M for uh, Mary, like for Merry Christmas um and the red color so i think i got this one at the bins it probably was like less than 50 cents it was so inexpensive regularly it looked like it was uh 20 dollars so i got a really good price on it and again i'll just do something really fun for the holidays with that the fourth of july coming oh my gosh this was super cute and actually now i'm looking it looks like somebody tried to trace a red around it uh, so this could be used for the 4th of July or just like even the wood. It can just be like an up north um, piece or if you do have like a cabin, it would be a perfect cabin piece. And I see that this kind of popped out. Oh, there. Popped right back in. So great for a candle for outside on a patio or in a home. I saw this and I thought it would be perfect uh, for either an outside table, inside, I don't, I'm not sure I am absolutely loving the color. This is going to be possibly a project piece. 
um, but I just like the metal and I like how you can put different things on here. So even like three terracotta pots in here, I think it would look really fun. These are for me and I ended up finding these at um, the bins. They probably, I'm trying to, I don't I should probably have weighed them. They are a little bit heavier or heavy duty and there's four of them. If you don't know, they're for hanging baskets. I'm always looking for these um, and I do have some posts outside that I need to replace them. So I am gonna probably spray paint them a different color, a couple coats of spray paint, a couple coats of clear to really protect them and then get them out there. Uh, but these are huge and they're super heavy duty. I love little tiny boxes. So this one was $3.99, this was $2.99. These are so cute. Um, I think this one might have had a little handle. I can always add some, well maybe not. No, it actually, at first I thought it was because there was a little tiny hole, but I think that's where they actually put the, like, the screws in. But very cute, just like a little memory box. Um, this would be perfect for a little boy's room. This one too even, just super cute. And so I'm just gonna put these in my booth as is. And you guys, this one was $3.99. I love the color of it, it's so cool. Um, again, just going right in my booth. I love hanging baskets and these are in really good condition. They had all the S hooks um, and the chain. Uh, I did see one of the chains might've came off, but I'm gonna be able to put that right back on. Here it is down here. And I'm going to spray them and then just get different liners, which you can pick those up every year anyway, um, the cocoa husk liners. So this will be perfect um, for outside. I thought this was so fun. I love the little check. I think what I'm gonna do is take it out and wash it. Um, either that or possibly remove it if I can't. There's a little bit of a stain on it. Just wash it up and you guys, it's in really, really great condition, um, like really good condition. So I'm debating, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, if it doesn't sell as is, at that point, I might try to do something to it. I love finding all just old vintage pieces of cookware. Uh, grab these, um, probably just be putting them in my booth as is. If anything, this had a little bit of red, so I might even just add a little bit of color to the handles to make them look vintage, um, just to add a little bit more character. So I talk about how I love pottery. Uh, this one was $9.99, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Look at all that drippiness, it's just so cool. I don't really, know if there is any rhyme or you know reason to it there's not really a design but i just think it's so cool and it looks like the same on the back there was a little bit more brown back there but i am just going to price it as is and then get it in my booth it looks like it is signed uh i do not know what it says but I love it. I grabbed this because I thought it'd be so fun and now it's got little fuzzies coming off of it. Um, and you guys have mentioned, you've been seeing stuff floating by. Um, this stuff I just kind of set in here and then I clean it up afterwards. So some of it might be dust in the air as I'm picking up items. So just keep that in mind. Um, when you see little tiny specks kind of floating, it's probably dust from my items that I'm showing you because they have yet to be cleaned. Um, and so this was so cool. I looked it over you guys really well. This was at the bins. Um, it turned out though that, yeah, I'm trying to think what brand. I thought it was like Ralph Lauren or something like that. And I got, oh yes, right here. There's a tiny hole. I'm so sad. So I was going to put it in as is. Well, now I'm going to take it apart and I am actually going to make pillows um, for, for it. So I think uh, for winter, it'll be perfect for pillows. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna wash it. I'm going to take it apart, take that other liner off, and then just make pillow ca pillowcases with it. All this racket, I thought it was so cute. 
It's very old and vintage. Um, I just redid a set that I had found. I probably will put it right with those. And yes, you guys, I do probably need to get those little badminton um, little, what are those called? to go with it. Um, so I'm gonna have to find some. I don't know what it is about pink lately, but I'm in love. I love the color pink. So this one was half price, it was green, and I just thought it would be perfect in some display. I already love the handles on it. I love the vintage look to it. It's awesome. I love finding these little, um, I'm trying to think of the exact name, creamers or, I always put these in uh, my vignettes and they always sell. So this one looks like it was from Pier One. Grab that, um, was a buck 99. This one is actually a false graph and I think it's a vintage one. I really like it. Look at that pink tulip on it. It's gorgeous and it's on both sides, the tulip. It's very, very neat. So I'll definitely be looking this one up before I price it. This one, it will just probably be, it's just, it reminds me of Ironstone kind of, but it's not. Pottery, more pottery. I loved this, like the indentation. I think it's really cool how they must have pressed it in and then created that flower. This is a vase. I paid $3.99. And it looks like Corky made it. I think it's awesome. Trays and more trays. These are going in as is, as vintage little trays. Oh, you guys, look at, I'm just gonna wash them up. But I love the little flowers on it, like the floral design. I like the color and the vintage wear. I just think it's so cool. I found four, a set of four. So again, I'm just gonna wash them up and then get them right in my booth. Thought it would be perfect for Easter. I was not too keen on the browns, <sighs> an egg fell out. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go through, um, possibly check all the eggs, or not possibly, I am going to check all the eggs, glue them all back together, and I'm gonna put some turkey feathers in here. I think it will be perfect. For $2.99, and they're actually hangers. I think this would look really awesome on, um, if I make um, like a coat rack of some sort. So I there was four of them. I just thought they were perfect. And typically these are a lot more each individually if I had to even at 50% off for Hobby Lobby. So I grabbed them a set of four for three bucks is a pretty good price. I ended up getting some candlesticks. I'm slightly obsessed with candlesticks as well. They add a lot of height and I almost actually like the look of these. I think I'm just going to do as is. I'm not gonna do anything. I only paid $3.99 and oh, you guys, they are so awesome. I love all the detail on them. So they are perfect for just to go right into my booth. Wire basket, this one again was $3.99. So not a lot, perfect to house different items. Um, and everyone loves chicken wire. I talked about how I like those little boxes. Now this is a little bit bigger, really, really great condition. Only $3.99, so cute. Um, I might stack uh, another one of those on top of, those smaller ones on top of here. Um, just adds a little bit of, you can add height in your vignettes. And I think this is so cool looking. This is probably the third one I found like this. So. I found like a set of three of them, brought them all with me to just add height to Cranberry Fest, sold them all there, found another one, sold that one, and now I found this one. And so, I don't even know. Oh, I found this at the bins. So I grabbed it right away because I'm like, I'm just going to price it and get in my booth. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the, um, just the look of it. <sighs> Everybody has been loving these. So again, going right in my booth. Barely got through the holidays and I'm already buying for it, but anytime you can find a good pillow, you're, I would grab it. Uh, this is going to be awesome. Um, I'm envisioning this on like a bench for the holidays uh, with some maybe like a go throw with it over the side of the bench. Um, but that's what I'm envisioning because it's super long. I only paid $5.99 for it and they were uh, just putting it out so I had to grab it before somebody else did.
there was this tiny crock. I thought it was so cute. I'm either going to leave it as is. It looks like on the bottom it was somewhere else for $2.49. I ended up paying $1.99 for it. Um, just so cute. Uh, loved it. And again, I can either put like a crockery stamp on here. Uh, I can, you know, make a clay uh, crockery stamp or just sell is. I think that would be really fun though with a crockery stamp on it. So I'm talking to you guys about Ironstone. This, you guys, is so beautiful. I really want to keep it for myself. There, there's writing on the bottom. It looks like it was $1.99. And I cannot, for the life of me, read if it does say Ironstone or not. But, oh, you guys, I don't know if you can see all the beautiful detail. There's so much. And it's in perfect condition. So uh, this might stay with me because I loved it so very, very much. Really fun spoon rest. And I've been adding little touches of black. Um, this was $2.99. I just thought it was really cute. I found this teapot. <laughs> So stinking cute, you guys. I believe it's an imitation of the top of an asparagus, possibly, or it's like an like asparagus shoots. Um, I recently found um, a lettuce. I think it's either a stalk of lettuce, not lettuce, um, celery. Maybe I don't know. It's some type of dish that's similar. It just reminds me of this, and I'm gonna put. I have it in my booth already. I'm gonna put this near it. So I'm gonna wash it up. It's very dusty and dirty. I paid $3.99 for it. And there is some a marking on there, but the tag is partially over it. But I'm gonna get it in there. And I just think it's so fun. I mean, who wouldn't want a teapot that was asparagus, right? <laughs> I ended up finding a set of eight of these vintage glasses. They are so cute. I am going to just wash them up and sell them as a set. And I did show like this, that would be perfect on there with these. So perfect for summer, uh, serving some lemonade or what have you with them. But that is how I'm going to display them. And I cannot remember, I think for the whole set, I might have paid $6. So a set of eight of these. I could so not pass up a little bunny, you guys. Um, it was, he was $2.99. He just got put out. He's so stinking cute with his little gold tail and ears. Uh, he'll definitely be headed into my booth. I found this trunk. It's fairly large. They've already started to do a whole, they put a map on it. They started their own little um, upcycle and I'm not really digging the, the handle. So I think I'm gonna continue on with this, fix it up a bit, but they even did the inside. So the inside's already all done. I am just going to fix up the outside a little bit. I found this vase and I thought it was so beautiful. I did move the tag and it is Lennox and it was $2.99. I just, again, I always like adding little bits of white here and there to kind of offset a lot of the color I use in my booths. Flies, definitely summer is coming. I love these bright blues. Um, this is perfect and it's just going in my booth as is. And to top it off, it was half price. So $5.99 and I got it for 50% off. So um, definitely a win-win. Guys, I saw this and I fell in love with it. It's so big and tall. It's five night, it was $5.99. I'm definitely gonna use it somehow. I, I'm wondering, did I show, I feel like I showed you guys this already, but maybe not, um, but it is awesome. It is a super gigantic candlestick, uh, probably from my waist to the top of my head. That's how tall it is. So it's like half of a person. Got the bins and it's an and sign. I think I'm gonna do something fun with it because I recently did something fun with that S for my studio and I think it'll be perfect um, just to add a little something something in my booth. So I showed the paint by number print that I found. Um, I'm thinking what I plan on doing, do, ugh, what I plan to do with this is I'm just gonna paint the frame, I believe. I'm just gonna add a bit of color to the frame, but they did an amazing job on this paint by number. And at first, somebody's like, gosh, that is so good. 
And then I thought, well, is it all paint by Faber? Yes, they painted everything. Like if you actually look really close, they had a fairly steady hand, but it was all paint by number. I ended up finding these at the bins. They were all throughout. Um, I ended up finding like one here, one there. Then I found the holder for it and I just thought it was perfect. I am just going to put it in my booth as is. I think they're really fun. Um, I love the colors and uh, it is a perfect set. The one thing it's missing though are the balls, but that's okay. So I am gonna have the mallets available and maybe somebody else has uh, some of the balls to go with it. I found this guy, oh my, I picked him up, I put him back. I picked him up, I put him back. He ended up obviously in my cart. I just thought he was so stinking cute and I don't do a lot of um, decorating for the fourth. So this will be perfect and I'm sure somebody is gonna take him. Um, he has a hanger on the back. I just think he would look good in somebody's decor for the 4th of July. He's so stinking cute. Last few things I'm going to show you are, um, two of them are for me and one of them I'm gonna put in my booth. So I found this. And you guys, I am slightly obsessed with all pottery vases. And I looked and, or maybe I, did I show this? I feel like I talked to you guys about this already. Um, but his little nose had been broken off, but I'm keeping them for myself. I just love them. So maybe I showed it to, maybe I'm showing this one to you twice because I'm so excited about him. But yes, there's no markings that I see on the bottom, but I loved him and he is definitely ending up in my collection. The other thing was I found this McCoy piece of pottery, um, $4.99. And you guys, I love a good piece of McCoy. So it's like a bean pot. I will definitely make use of him. Um, this one is actually, it says Germany. Um, he will be ending up in my booth. It was $2 and 49 cents. And I found him at a thrift store at St. Vinny's. So that is my haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are loving my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. So every Monday and Friday, when I put out a video, you'll be notified. And I've been doing a lot of short form content as well as lives. So lots out there for you guys to watch. Um, and if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and definitely let me know in the comments what your favorite item was today. Um, was there something that I'm not going to flip and you think I should or something I'm going to flip, which there wasn't a lot today that you don't think I should. So in the comments, let me know what you guys all think. And you guys, this is going to be the test. I officially ended up getting TDS today. Woohoo! I am so excited. Uh, he came this morning between 8 and 10. I am put, taking care of my video now. I was extremely busy all weekend, so I am going to edit it and then we'll see if I can get it uploaded very quick because honestly, everyone says that I am going to be so happy with these upload speeds. So wish me luck. We will see you guys Friday and it will be a thrift to treasure. I am having, I have a whole bunch of items picked out. Um, I have a couple of thrift to treasures ready for you guys. Plus I have a couple of the DIYs. So I'm really excited to show you and we will see you Friday. Bye.